Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ariviews back with another video. And finally, iOS 14 is here bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS. So in this video, I will show you guys some of the best tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user running iOS 14 should know and use on their device. Getting things started with the Photos app. A lot of new features and changes have been made to the Photos app. So you can see right here, I have a few albums and normally, on every album, the first picture that's on that album will be the key picture. So the picture that you see right here on the preview of the album. But with iOS 14, what you can do is go ahead, go to any album, 3D touch on any photo, and you can make that photo that you want the key photo of that album. Now, when you go back, you can see you have the photo that you selected as the key photo on the preview of the album. So on any album, just pick any photo you like as the key photo. You probably know that on iOS 14, you will be able to add captions to photos. So you just go ahead, swipe up and add a caption to any of your photos. But did you know that you can do the same with videos as well? You can add captions to videos. Just go to any video, swipe up and you will have the ability here to add captions to any of your videos on the camera roll. Now, when you install an app that has to do with photos like a wallpaper app or maybe a photo editing app, of course, it will request to have access to your photos. Now with iOS 14, what you can do is select to which photos each app has access to. So you can do that once the app requires you to have access to your photos, or you can do that manually by going to settings, go to privacy, and right here we'll find photos, and you will see a list of all the apps that have access to your photos. Now what you can do here is just go ahead and choose to which photos you want to have access to that app. So you can just tap on selected photos. You can see right here, it will show you your photos. You can select each one of them and just tap done, and then that app will only have access to those specific photos not the entire camera roll. You probably know that you can create stacks of widgets on iOS 14. So here I have two weather widgets. They're the two by two, the small widget, and I have two different cities on each widget. You can change the city simply by 3D touching here, tap edit widget and choose whichever city you want. But what if you want to have like two or three cities? You don't want to have all these widgets here taking up space on the home screen. What you can do is create stacks with these widgets from the same app. So here I have different cities and I can just swipe like this to switch between different cities so I can create stacks with the same app. So same widgets from the same app. You can do the same maybe like with the clock app app have different cities, different time zones, and have just only one here, just one widget on the home screen. I've seen a lot of tweets with the new widgets on the iOS 14, especially for the photos one. Now, iOS will just like show photos there that you maybe don't wanna see on your home screen. What you can do is just go ahead and the moment it shows a photo that you don't wanna see on the widget, you just tap right there and it will open that on the photos app now all you have to do is just tap the share button and as you can see right here it will give you the option to remove that photo from the featured photos what that means is that it won't show up anymore on the photos widget now if you have stacks of widgets you can edit them you have smart stacks which are created automatically by ios and if you have added one of them you can simply 3d touch on it and tap on edit stack now here have smart rotate which means that these will automatically rotate if you don't want that to happen you can go ahead and disable this and you just swipe through them when you need to or you can go ahead and rearrange here the different widgets that are on that stack or if you don't want to see any one of them right there you just swipe like this and delete and then you have that widget removed from that stack when you want to add a widget on the home screen of your ios 14 device you go ahead and tap right here add a widget and ios will just automatically place it on the home screen but what you can do from here is just go ahead and drag the widget like this now you have it here on your finger and you can just basically go ahead and place it anywhere you want so manually move it anywhere you want not just have ios like mess up your home screen and add the widget wherever it wants a really cool widget that i like on ios 14 is one of siri suggestions right here will have app suggestions if you add this to your home screen it will suggest you apps that you use frequently and you can also have multiple same widgets and it will just change between different apps it won't have the same apps 
on both of them. And what you can do here, if you see an app that you don't want Siri to suggest, just go ahead and 3D touch on it. And right here, you can go ahead and just tap, don't suggest clock in this case, don't suggest clock. And of course it will replace it with another app. Now, what I encourage you to do on iOS 14 is go ahead, open the shortcuts app and go to automations, create personal automation. And right here, we'll have three new automations that have been added on iOS 14. Now, these are really, really cool. If you go to low power mode, you can go ahead and basically choose whatever you want to do when low power mode is on or off. You will have the same for charger and battery level. So let's say we can go ahead and move the slider here. Let's set it at 40%. So tap next. So what happens when the battery is at 40%? We can set here low power mode on. So just go ahead and tap add an action. And here just search for low power, set low power. And you have here on, click next and click here to don't ask before running it so it runs automatically click done and now you have this automation created now what this will do is whenever the battery reaches 40 percent it will automatically turn on low power mode there is a new app on ios 14 the translation app it is really good it will translate basically like every other app but it also has a conversation mode so if you just go ahead and turn your iphone on the landscape mode now you have conversation mode so basically you can speak on one side the other person on the other side and it will on real time like translate whenever you're talking in another language and it is really really awesome of course it will be very very useful especially if you travel somewhere on a country which you don't speak that language this will be very very useful on ios 14 apple has added mentions to the iMessage app. Now what you need to do is go ahead and go to settings, go to iMessage and right here you will find a button that says notify me. So when someone mentions your name on an iMessage conversation, on a group conversation, you will get a notification. So that's really, really useful. You just go ahead and enable this and you will be notified every time you're mentioned on a conversation. You probably know that on iOS 14, now there is an emoji search bar. You go ahead and just search for any emoji you want. So when you're searching for an emoji, you can get options as well. So here it basically suggests me these emojis, but what if I want to change the skin color right here? All I have to do is just tap and hold right there. And as you can see, you will get all the options. So you don't have to use the exact emoji that it suggests. You go ahead, 3D touch on it. And then of course you will have all the different options just like you get on the emoji keyboard. There's also a search bar within the storage of your iPhone. So you go to general, you go to iPhone storage and at the top right there, you can see there's a search bar where you can search for any app. So if you have a lot of apps installed, they will show up here on the storage. Basically it tells you how much storage they're taking up on your iPhone. And of course you don't wanna go down all the lists here. There are a ton of apps. You just go ahead and search for any one of them directly here from the search bar. On the photos app, you know that there is a hidden photos album. So basically you have the option to hide photos and they will be here on the hidden album. But this doesn't even make sense. You still have that here and anyone can have access to those photos. Now with iOS 14, it will be a bit harder to have access to this album as now you can go ahead and hide that album. You go to settings, you go to the photo settings, you go ahead and disable here hidden album. And when you go back here, you can see there is no hidden photos album. Now with iOS 14, Apple allows us to change the default apps. So like browsers or mail apps can be changed and use other apps. Like you don't want to use Safari, you want to use Chrome, you can do that. Now how to do that? You go to settings and you go to the section of the apps. So let's say I want to change the default mail app. Now what I can do here is just go ahead and find here a mail app that I want to use instead of the stock mail. So let's just go ahead and find here Spark. So here I have Spark, tap right there. And you can see here default mail app. If I tap right there, it will show me the options. So here I have the stock mail app and I can switch here to Spark. And it also shows the other apps that basically support this feature. Now, not all the apps will be shown here. If you have like other mail apps, they will have to be updated to meet the criteria that Apple has set in order for you to use them as default apps. On iOS 14, Apple has added another very useful feature called sound recognition. So basically, 
it just gives you notifications when it hurts certain certain sounds that you enable on the settings app. Now you will have the ability to do that directly from the control center. So you go to control center under settings and make sure you have enabled sound recognition. Now when you go to the control center, you will have the button right here. You can go ahead and 3D touch on it and select here for which sounds you want your iPhone to look out for. So you will have like different sounds here. Check basically check any one of them that you want to, and then you're good to go. It's turned on now your iPhone is listening for those sounds. You can turn it on or off directly from here. A few iOS versions ago, there used to be a feature on the FaceTime called eye contact. So basically, if you enable this, it will make like your eyes look at the camera, even though you're not looking at it. It will basically just like add that effect, like you're looking straight into the camera when you're talking to someone. Well, that feature is now back with iOS 14 and you can enable it by going to the FaceTime settings and enable it right here. Apple has added a lot of new features to the camera app as well. Now you can use the buttons for different purposes. The volume up button can be used to take burst pictures, tap and hold, you can take burst pictures or the volume down, tap and hold to quickly take a video. So it will be recording as long as you're holding your finger there. Once you release, it's done recording. Now you have to enable these by going to settings, go to the camera and you have here, use volume up for burst and basically will have the ability to now do that. On the camera app, now you can also set the exposure when shooting pictures. So you tap right there to show the tools and right here will have the exposure and you can go ahead and set it with this slider. So you can change the exposure right here. You can see the chart right there at the top. So basically change the exposure manually on the camera app. And if you want to shoot faster pictures, so you're maybe on an environment like a sports scene or something when you need your iPhone to shoot really quick, you can go ahead and go to the camera settings and enable prioritize faster shooting. So basically it will adapt the image quality to repeatedly shoot pictures. There is a new section on the privacy settings. So if you go to privacy and you go to local network, here are all the apps that have required to have access to your local network. Some of them might be enabled. So if you wanna go ahead and check these out, you can see which apps have access to your local network. And of course, you can disable them or enable them from here. On the notes app, you can quickly format a text. Once you have selected that, you can just tap and hold here on the letters and you will get the option here to basically change the formatting of that text. So just like that, without having to go into the tools, just 3D touch here, drag your finger and you can go ahead and change the format of that text. There is a new time picker on iOS 14. So you can see right here, when you go to set the time, you will have the scroll wheel, the new scroll wheel but you can still add the time manually. So you can do that from here or you can use the scrolling gesture right here. So both of them are available to use on iOS 14. Now, if you have an app on the app library and you want to add it back to the home screen, the easiest way to do that is from the search bar. So you go to the search bar and search for any app that you want. And once you have found that app, just three to touch on it just like that and you will be able to move it back to the home screen. Now on the spotlight search, you will be able to search within apps. So if you're searching for something, you can go ahead and scroll here and you will be able to search on any apps that it will suggest right here. So if I search for test right here, I can go ahead and tap on search on message and you can see it will quickly go to the iMessage app and search for whatever I was searching for on the spotlight search. So that's basically for this video, guys. These are some really cool tips and tricks that you need to know on iOS 14. Now you can see the setup that I did right here. If you want to get this, make sure you go ahead and check out the description of the video. You will find there the link to this wallpaper. And these are third party app widgets that I have downloaded and I've done a video on them. You can find it also on the card if you're interested on these widgets. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next one.